why do I call them the Bexman keys? That's because you know some keys, maybe you know the six keys of occlusion. And the problem with that is when I teach students, go to the university or to any courses, wherever I, I lecture, and I ask these people there, tell me what's the fifth key of the six keys of occlusion? What's number four? What's number six? And maybe you, should, you start thinking in a moment, hmm, uh, actually, I'm not sure. What is it? Maybe it's curve of speed or Wilson or contact points or hmm, I don't know. Most of the people don't even know the Wilson curve or the curve of speed, I forgot about it. And they just think about class one. So actually I thought let's cut it down to three, which are most important and which are easy to remember and I started observing myself. Actually, when I do controls of my patient checkups, is it for functional appliances or fixed appliances, anchorage control? It's always the same. I always look at three things to make sure my case goes into the right direction. 